Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls. I should switch that back on. This is a server um, that has been hosted by a few friends of mine. Now, after a while, it was, of course, abandoned. And, well, I was more or less given permission to lay waste to, well, literally everything with a set of powerful nuclear and non-nuclear explosions. And since I have a YouTube channel, I saw it fit to, well, demonstrate the power of these weapons and to create a video where I basically just blow this entire fucking map up before the server rent expires. Anyways, guys, um, you see here under one of our friend's homes, we have a crap ton of TNT. We have various nuclear weapons put in multiple spots around the map. And we have wired up, effectively speaking, a system that will just drop TNT. It'll cause a chain reaction which will more or less just get rid of every single, you know, developed structure around the map. There's maybe one exception which will maybe that quarry, but I doubt that it will survive these explosions. Now, we have, of course, here we have um, what looks like a... Uh, the diesel um, fuel uh, assembly here, which will go ahead and wire with a nuclear weapon. Now, in Dire Wolf, we'll need to, of course, use plutonium. Now, we'll throw some plutonium into this nuclear weapon to make sure that the destruction of this area is complete. We'll get ourselves some TNT. Okay, so once we, um, once there is a nuclear accident at Pipe, Pike Point Nuclear Power Plant, which is a plant that I built a while ago, this is a uh, Pike Point, this is the uh, fuel, um, the fuel area, this is the fuel pool where I put used fuel and uh, hazardous waste, that's uh, the fuel collection out there, it's, uh, I keep it outside because I can't be bothered building for it. We'll just quickly switch off the rain and switch on the daylight. Now, let's say, now because all of this is completely safe, what we're going to go ahead and do is set off a nuclear, well, we're actually going to destabilize the reactor and we're going to bring the entire area up. Okay. As you can see here, there's absolutely no need for any sort of balancing of the reactor. We can just slam these fuel rods together, and we can, of course, amplify their energy. There we go. Now, what's going to happen at some point, or momentarily, is that this reactor is going to overheat. And to help speed this process up, I am going to install some MOX fuel to amplify the power of the reactor's detonation. I will quickly just remove the unnecessary components from the reactor and install the ones that make it do super cool things. Okay, that's a little bit better. We need to, of course, speed up this explosion because I don't want to be here all day. There we go. Now it's starting to go a little bit quicker. Now we of course need to make it go yet even quicker. Let's destabilize a nuclear reactor. Okay, once the uh, red line gets to the red line, I probably should... Yeah, that's climbing a little bit quicker than I would have expected. Okay, yeah, I gotta run. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, we're having some lag, so this is. Whoa! Yeah, it looks like the reactor went. And surprisingly, nothing else did. But, um, that's not a problem since I have this. Oops, um, who did that? Oh. 
Okay, well it seems for some reason the nuclear weapons didn't detonate, so I'll go ahead and remedy that now. So we do... Oops. It would appear that there is next to nothing left over. And to clean this up, we're going to go ahead and put a few more weapons down. We're going to, of course, need to install the fuels. Goodbye, Point Pike Generating Unit 1. You will be missed. It will be a miracle if anything is left after this. That is what our house used to be. And as you can see here, just about everything has been destroyed, apart from the first level of the house, which we will now remedy. Of course, I have to blow up the mine shafts. That right there used to be the mine shafts. Now it is a giant pit. This is our marble shitbox of a house, which is about to disappear also. Or whatever remains of it. Surprisingly here, there are still remnants of Point Pike. Like what used to be the main building and part of the Reactor 1 unit. As you can see, the damage is pretty extensive and it goes down basically the entire length of the map. This still looks like there are some weapons that have not been detonated. And we are going to close the portal to the never forever. This, ladies and gentlemen, used to be Points Pike. Now it is a massive pile of, well, to be perfectly honest, nothing. After detonating a few nuclear weapons, we have ended up, perhaps I should say, screwing with this quarry, which digs down incredibly deep. And it would appear that we have permanently destroyed the landscape and removed all of the structures and mining tunnels that we had created on this map. We've also done irreversible damage to every single structure and all of the land, and I think it's a pretty nice way to go out with a bang. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and that house is a spawn in, and uh, well, that's all. See ya. Well, ladies and gents, after blowing the living fuck out of literally everything that um, we have on the server, I've decided, you know, why can't I try to bring the server down with a crap ton of fully loaded nuclear weapons? Now, I'm sorry, but if this doesn't bring down the server, I really don't know, quite frankly, what will, so... 
Enough waffle waffle, let's just try it. Hopefully this should all... Should hopefully crash the server. If not, then I'll be very surprised if this didn't put a... Well, yeah. Looks like it may have killed... Oh, I think I... Have I? Did I crash it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, by the looks of it here, I have caused a bug in the game. It doesn't look like the explosion has actually done anything. Yeah, I may have just completely froze the server. Or it's probably still processing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's all. And it does look I may have brought the server down or I may have caused a serious bug. And yes, ladies and gents, I think I did it.